851, turn right, heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. Seeming this video is going to be based on cargo and the freighter industry, I wanted to showcase a new game to you all which is in the early access stages on the massive platform that is Steam. The game is titled Frontier Pilot Simulator. Essentially, Frontier Pilot Simulator is a fusion of story-driven economic strategy and is a cargo spaceship simulator. You as the player will take the cargo, then you the player will have to cope with the difficult management, unpredictable weather conditions, and on top of all this, you'll have realistic controls. Also, there are thousands of upgrades on the ship, and the game is constantly updating with developers making a new update recently with workshop optimization and a new ship. You can try Frontier Pilot Simulator at the link below in the description with a 20% discount. I'd like to thank Frontier Pilot Simulator for not only sponsoring this video, but also helping support what I do here on YouTube. As you know, this is my first sponsored video, and through the team over at Frontier reaching out to me, it means I can continue to create content on a regular basis, and hopefully one day go full time for you all. In recent days, cargo aircraft have been popping up in the news, and in new developments, it appears we may be seeing a new cargo plane in 2027, or at least by then, from Russia. What we know so far, according to the Russian news agency, is that Russia is currently working on developing a super heavy plane that will replace the Antonov AN-124. The AN-124 is of course a plane made by Antonov, and they did recently appear in the news after Boeing essentially took them under their wing and in turn gave them a new lease of life. The Aviastar SP Enterprise, hopefully I pronounce that correctly, earlier launched preliminary work which is related to the restart of the AN-124 production. This move by Russia though, to aim to introduce a new super heavy cargo aircraft, will mean this won't be a turboprop, rather an extremely large plane, likely the same size of the AN-124. The Russian Deputy Prime Minister said that they will begin work on the aircraft within the time frame outlined, which is before 2027. As to what the aircraft will house in regards to its range, maximum takeoff weight and so on, that is all still really unknown at this point, and it's pretty much speculation, anything that I'm going to say, but I would just like to point out, it will be probably based off a lot of the AN-124 features. However, it's worth mentioning, by the time we see this Russian super heavy cargo transporter, it'll have just been over 40 years since the first AN-124 entered service, which is in most circumstances when manufacturers will be looking at replacements. This move by Russia themselves will also ensure that there is a competition for Antonov, and could make this cargo sector, especially with aircraft manufacturers like Antonov, who fly under the radar, receive some more attention. What are your thoughts on Russia looking to build a new cargo aircraft that would be a replacement to the AN-124? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd like to once again give a huge thanks to Frontier Pilot Simulator for sponsoring this video. I'd highly recommend you check out their game in the description below, and with that code you'll be getting a 20% discount on the game. It is still in early access, so there's going to be lots of new things added. And at the end of the day, this sponsored video will, as I mentioned earlier, allows me to continue making content, and as this is my sole source of income, it allows me to keep doing it day in, day out like I do for you all, and constantly pump out the content. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video of mine, and of course the continued support. Stay tuned in around an hour and a bit for a very special announcement video. You'll definitely want to stay tuned for that. I look forward to you all joining me in the next one. And we'll fly.